Hello, children. Uh, welcome to the uh, class today. We are continuing uh, to learn about uh, matter in our surroundings. And um, we just before uh, going into the uh, next part, uh, we'll try to recapitulate on what we have learned before. So the first day in module one, we have learned about uh, matter. Matter is uh, uh, something which has mass and volume, second. And um, uh, the thought about uh, matter, that is the ancient people and the modern people, what they were thinking about matter, right? The ancient people thought about Panchatattva, that idea. The next one, the modern people, they have uh, given an idea about uh, matter based on physical as well as uh, chemical characteristics or properties of matter, right? Then next, we moved to understand that matter is not continuous, but matter is particles. Matter is made up of very tiny particles. So these are the two things that we have uh, learned uh, uh, the previous day. Now, today, let us talk about uh, uh, second part uh, that is uh, characteristics of uh, characteristics of uh, particles of matter characteristics of particles of uh, matter right so now uh, we'll see what the characteristics of particles of matter are yesterday we have conducted uh, one activity uh, we actually conducted two activities right the first activity we have taken a glass of water, put sugar into that and dissolved it. And we have seen that uh, uh, the level of water uh, before dissolving and after it remained the same. That means there are spaces between the particles of water and into these spaces, the sugar particles have gone. That's the idea. The next one, how small the particles are that we have seen. Even in that, uh, uh, we have seen that particles were getting into the uh, spaces that are there in uh, the particles of water. So what do we understand from this? We understand uh, the first thing that uh, ah, there are there are spaces between there are spaces between particles of uh, particles of uh, matter. So this is the first thing that we have learned uh, today, right? So today we are learning about. Uh, uh, this so the first thing that we have learned today is uh, whatever we have done yesterday that we just recollected and we have brought. So what did uh, those two activities tell us? That told about that there are spaces between the particles of uh, matter. So children, now we are going to learn about the second characteristic of matter. What is the second characteristic of uh, matter? What is that? Right. Now, what I do is, I want you to take, uh, say, an incense stick, agarbatti, and ignite it, or light it, and uh, place it in one corner, and try to move to the other corner of your room, and uh, wait and see what will happen. Do you need to go near to smell the perfume or uh, the aroma? No, no, no. Even if you are standing there, that aroma is coming to you. So, what does that tell? Right. Next uh, activity or next idea is uh, you take a glass of water, you take a glass of water, and in that glass of water, you take, uh, you drop uh, a little of uh, blue ink, blue ink, blue ink or uh, red ink, red ink, right? And uh, this is water, this is a beaker, right? So just along the side, you add and uh, uh, wait. So after some time, you'll see that. Uh, the whole of the water, even without our mixing it, uh, so that will be dissolving and spreading, right? Okay, next, uh, we also talk about the next thing. They say, uh, we also take a, a drop of honey and drop it here. Uh, when we drop it here, wait, it takes a long time. It, a long, it takes a long time uh, to dissolve and spread, but still, we find that that also will be moving and dissolving without our involvement because we are not stirring it but uh, this honey it is all slowly but this one is all faster but still there is a movement uh, of the particles there and without our involvement next okay the next thing that we do is uh, i take uh, i take uh, some hot water i take uh, some hot water in a beaker hot water hot water in a beaker and next uh, I take uh, another beaker, but that has uh, 
cold water. See, both the quantities of water are same, but there's one difference in them. That is uh, the temperature of it. This is hot water. That's cold water. Okay, good. Right now, so in this hot water, say I take uh, a small crystal of copper sulfate, small crystal of copper sulfate, and uh, I drop uh, a copper sulfate crystal here also. I'll wait and see. And where do you find uh, uh, this <coughs> copper sulfate dissipating and dissolving uh, into the water sooner? And uh, which of these two? So you will find that when we actually do this activity, uh, you will find that uh, you will find that uh, the color of copper sulfate dissipates quickly here, and the whole thing becomes blue. And it takes a long time. It takes quite a time uh, to get uh, this uh, uh, color blue. So we understand there's something here. So what is the first thing that we understand from all these three activities? The incensitic activity, the next, uh, uh, the drop of uh, ink activity, and uh, the crystal of copper sulfate in hot or cold uh, uh, waters beakers. So what do we understand here? So we understand the primary thing that we understand from these three activities is uh, the second characteristic of uh, uh, particles of matter. The second characteristic of particles of matter is all uh, right, uh, particles, particles of matter move. They move by themselves, by themselves into, into the spaces of other matter. Right. So there is movement of the particles of matter. And this movement of the particles of matter by themselves, right, between themselves, that is uh, one type of matter gets into the spaces of the other type of matter. This we call it as uh, diffusion. What is that called? It is called as diffusion. D I F F U S I O N. That's called diffusion. Right. So we find diffusion happening here. Good. Right now, next one. Now, why is uh, diffusion uh, faster in the case of? Uh, uh, when the water was hot. So we know well that uh, the temperature, it, as it increases, it increases uh, what is called as the kinetic energy of the molecules. Kinetic energy of the molecules. Kinetic energy of the molecules. So particles are moving by themselves. That is, they are going diffusion into the other medium. At the same time, uh, uh, when the temperature is high, when the temperature is high, when uh, when temperature temperature is high is more so that results in a increase of a increase of a kinetic energy kinetic energy and this kinetic energy of the molecules when it increases the dissolution process becomes quicker so children so we have learned about the two characteristics of matter first one uh, here or not the characteristics of matter i mean Characteristics of the particles of matter. First thing is uh, uh, these particles, uh, uh, what they do is uh, uh, they have spaces in between them. And the second thing is uh, the particles also will be moving by themselves into the space of the other media. Right. So in between the medium, there is movement. So this is we call this we call it as a, a diffusion. And the diffusion is increasing, and uh, that depends upon the temperature also. Right. After that, I'll give you the third character, children. Third children. Now we will move to the third characteristic of uh, uh, matter. Before understanding the third characteristic of matter, I'm taking uh, an iron clip. So we can take an iron nail too, but I have an iron clip and try to break it. Uh, but it's not breaking; it's very hard. The next one, I have a chalk piece too, and I try to break it. Yes, it breaks uh, easily. And I have a rubber band too, children, and I try to break it. It breaks easily. Now. There might be some difference between uh, uh, these. Uh, okay, all three, all three have particles. All of these three, the iron nail, then the chalk piece, and uh, uh, rubber band, they are having particles in them. But uh, the iron nail particles, they are not uh, uh, separated so easily. Whereas the chalk piece, that gets separated easily. Whereas uh, rubber band is getting separated easily. But there's something very important. What is that thing? So with this illustration, which I'm telling you, about uh, you will easily understand about the characteristic of uh, uh, the third characteristic of the particles of matter from this illustration. So, uh, see children, it's like this. 
there are a few people, there are a few people like Musmi dancer in uh, uh, Mizoram there, uh, we find uh, uh, say the people are uh, um, uh, sitting themselves in this group uh, and uh, they are holding their hands behind, behind like this. So one, the two of them hold like this uh, very strongly and that's one set of people and the second set of people is uh, the second set of people is just holding their hands just holding their hands like this okay they are holding their hands like this all right okay right there so they are holding their hands like this and uh, the third set of people they are just touching their fingers they are just touching their fingers so fingers so they are just touching they are not holding but they are touching now if i try to or if some of you go and try to break them which of these uh, three groups will be difficult for you to break apart and uh, which is the easiest of all to break so you will easily tell that this is the most difficult uh, uh, to break this chain cannot be broken easily because there is a strong uh, force uh, of uh, uh, holding here in this case whereas in the second case uh, it takes uh, a little energy less than this uh, and the third one is very very easy right what do you understand from this it's just like that uh, in iron the particles 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 are having large or strong forces uh, between them so then next the forces here are weaker in choppies and in rubber band uh, the forces are too minimum and that can be broken easily so the third thing from overall this activity we understand is uh, there are forces between the particles of uh, matter particles of uh, matter particles of matter so this is the teachable that we have learned so we will just recapitulate what we have learned today and uh, uh, we'll go for the exercises and do that right now come on children what is the uh, what is the uh, so children now uh, recapitulation so we are going to recapitulate on what we have learned today right so what have we learned today the first thing that we have learned is uh, there are uh, spaces between between particles of uh, matter the second thing that we have learned is uh, that uh, particles of matter particles of matter they move by themselves into another medium uh, one into the other medium so this is called uh, uh, they move they diffuse that's the idea and the third one is uh, there are forces of uh, forces of attraction uh, between the particles of uh, matter before i conclude just want to give you an idea about uh, this force of attraction by the common activity that is if you allow water to fall down or uh, run through a pipe uh, run through your uh, tap uh, and uh, place your finger say thumb or your finger into that uh, flow then that water it gets divided like this it gets divided is it not it gets divided right and then again you'll find that that joins here so what do you understand here so that there are particles of matter so if this is the tap and the water flows through it then the division happens here as you keep your finger and the next the moment that comes down there again from one flow so the reason for that is uh, the particles of matter have forces of attraction between them okay children thank you very much for today and uh, i'll give you the worksheet that is following uh, this uh, chapter so you go home listen to this carefully i mean uh, at home you try to work out this activity after having a careful uh, listening to this uh, video uh, this lesson this part of the lesson and then next uh, go through your uh, uh, this part of the chapter from your textbook uh, and film your exercise and when you come back uh, you get uh, that and we will collect uh, and reward you with marks hope you have enjoyed this part thank you very much children now we are going to do an activity of uh, diffusion uh, depends upon the temperature of uh, the substance okay for this on the left side i have a, a glass of uh, hot water and uh, on the right side there is cold water in the glass and i am going to drop 
one drop of uh, um, the blue in the left as well as uh, in the right and we'll see which one in which one does uh, the spreading of the blue color happens quickly And you are able to see children on the left side the blue color is spreading very very quickly is it not now what is the reason for this that's because the molecules there they have achieved more kinetic energy on the left side as the water is hot the temperature is more the diffusion is faster so thus we understand that diffusion or the movement of the particles of the matter uh, is uh, faster when the temperature is uh, more so that's because the kinetic energy of the molecules increases with temperature thank you very much now we'll see the one i uh, will do one activity where the water will be flowing from the tap uh, and i place my finger uh, the water uh, afterwards uh, after passing my finger it will uh, join again so you don't find two streams so uh, you observe that that's because of uh, the force of attraction between the two streams that I've divided uh, after um, while uh, I place my finger there and after passing my finger they again join so that's because of forces of attraction now shall we see that so you can see that uh, water is uh, flowing down but again at the bottom you find only one stream so there are no two streams there right thank you